What's up, everybody? Ben Raza and Aton Shander here for Awesome o Odds, and we are back bringing you more NFL picks against the spread for this Sunday slate of games. We've got a good, good slate, a uh, ton of interesting matchups, obviously some P breaking news throughout the week. We're going to try to use that to win our advantage. Now, before we dive into the picks, the easiest way to take advantage of things is to go to BetMGM, and if you are a new user, deposit 10 or more dollars, and you're going to get that risk-free bet of up to $1,000. In addition, three free months of Awesome o Plus Platinum. I'm gonna cover you for all the sports we do on the betting and DFS side. One of the best deals in the industry. Take advantage of that. You gotta use the link in the description of this video. And while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if we are helping you out. Okay, we got a lot of bets. I'm actually, if you're okay with it, sir, I'm gonna lead off. I have one that I wanna get out there uh, yeah. and, and kind of set the tone for this video. What do you say? Well, I, yeah, absolutely, and I can't wait to see your face when I hit you with what I have uh -oh. cooking for mine because you know I can't do anything simple or easy, by all that's means. Why, that's why you're on the show, my man. Uh, here we go. I'm going very simple for my first pick. It seems against the grain. It seems kind of uh, maybe a sleepwalking spot. I'm going to short the Arizona Cardinals again. I think that the Niners hand them their second straight loss. Wow. I'm getting a point for my troubles, or you could just take minus 105. I don't think it really matters. And it's just a simple fact that, A, we don't know how healthy Kyler is. That's that's an unknown right now. But more importantly for me, B, the, the Packers kind of showed the blueprint. They dominated time of possession. They absolutely gutted them on the ground. And we've seen time and time again, the Cardinals struggle. They're allowing 4.9 yards per opponent rushing attempt, 31st in the league. San Francisco's got problems of their own, but we all know they love to run the ball. That's how they were great originally, run the ball and play defense. They got Jimmy G involved in some QB reads. We saw that a little more dynamic. They are at home. It kind of feels like a last stand for the Niners. I'm going to say they make that stand. I think they control the game on the ground. We'll see what Kyler can do. He's down a weapon or two. Give me the Niners to knock off the Cardinals in what is not really an upset according to the books. Here's what I love about that, where it's not a risk. It's not a, a five, five and a half point line. You're you're playing the fact that the books are even telling you yep. and preparing for a battle. And you're right. A one point home dog winning a game is not gigantic by any means. I had something cooked up for you, but I'm going to take your bet and mix it into this big oh. bowl here that I'm creating. All right. I was going to go with two, a small, just a small little two play teaser here for you but i think we can get value on a three pick six point teaser and it's going to get us at plus 160 first and foremost let's take your bet let's take your niners i have them in pa at one and a half where i sit and currently speak with you so that's going to bump him through that key number of seven plus seven and a half that's why i love your bet because even if it loses i know that it's not going to be a blowout and the niners have a good shot at keeping that close look the chiefs are brutal when it comes to covering but that's the closing gate that they struggle covering. I'm going to drop them down to one and a half at home against the Jordan Love-led Packers. And the third play, which is individually I like alone, but if I can get them down to an even pick them at home against Atlanta, I'm going to do it. And the Saints are now even money. Saints at even, Niners up to plus seven and a half, and the Chiefs down to one and a half. That gets you plus 130. So, and this is true for people watching, we don't talk about our picks beforehand. We like to keep it on the fly. And I knew you would come with something crazy. <laughs> My second pick is almost that exact teaser. I have Get out of here. I have a six point teaser for my second bet. I think it's a really good teaser week. I'm using the Chiefs. I think dropping them to a pseudo pick them, you'll lay one point. We don't know anything about Jordan Love, but I think in Arrowhead, the Chiefs will do enough. Uh, they're not the best team out there. We've seen that. They get the job done in a game they have to have, just like most of the games right now. I didn't go to the Saints. I went to the Rams. I moved them to nice. minus one and a half. A two-team six-point teaser is going to get you minus 110, so it's a normal straight bet. I just look at the Titans. Their true identity has been taken from them. It's not to say that they can't be an effective team without Derrick Henry, but going up against a Rams team that is getting stronger by the week the first week, I find it hard to believe that Tennessee is able to morph their game plan, similar to what we saw with Carolina. Yeah, can they function a little? short? Sure, but you just can't replace Christian McCaffrey. You can't replace Derrick Henry. They can do some things. They've got some weapons on the outside. I'd see no way they beat the Rams uh, on the road. So give me the Chiefs 
and the Rams basically laying a point for each. Uh, I think both teams get the job done at minus 110, and we have a nice, easy teaser week. What do you think about that? I love it, by the way. And you could even take individually my teaser, take individually Ben's teaser, and then add that Rams game into the three that I have, and you're getting plus 260 back. And both the Rams and the Chiefs, depending on where you have it, where you are, are going to be minus one and a half. Already the Niners bumped up to plus seven and a half. Saints said even. I, I smell a pretty big ticket coming up here. I, love I like it. it, man. I think we figured some things out. This is a good teaser week. If you want more content, more bets, hey, hit us in the comments. What is your favorite teaser? What is your upset picks? What are you betting this week? We want to hear about it. And B, obviously, stay tuned on the Awesome Odds channel. Me and Aton doing betting shows throughout the week. So much content here. We love to provide it for not just NFL, but all the sports. So on that note, we're going to bounce on out of here. Good luck, friends. Enjoy the Sunday games. We'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>